But look how quick she's able to do this. In my mind, if you use a triple head crochet hook, you're gonna get three times faster results. We got this video from DXLYN Locks. They're actually one of my favorite locticians on YouTube and they're doing an instant locking method and we gotta check it out. She's using a three head crochet hook, which I've actually considered trying. I've never tried any of the crochet hooks that have like the multiple heads on it, but look how quick she's able to do this. In my mind, if you use a triple head crochet hook, you're gonna get three times faster results. And the whole purpose of using a crochet hook is to speed up the process and to get instant locks. So if you want instant locks, I would recommend using a crochet hook. It's the best tool for instant lock. Oh, so she's gonna show us how she does it and why she does it. So it's gonna be good. I wanted to take a second to update you guys on the Great Locks products. The Maximum Hold Locking Gel is back in stock and it is a limited supply. A lot of people love this because it's a vegan product and a little goes a long way. So this product prevents buildup. One more thing we're really excited to announce is that we finally have a double crochet hook. The supply on this is extremely limited so if you want one you can order it now now let's get back to today's video so she sections out all the hair into two strand twists and then shows it to the client and says hey do you like these sections and then based on those sections the client will say okay yeah this looks good and then she moves forward with it that's really smart to do if you're a lactician or you do someone's hair it's always good to show them what it's going to look like before actually instantly locking it up because you can't just undo it um, you can but it's going to take time and you're going to damage the hair in the process especially after you instantly locked it up. And also I would recommend if you plan on getting locks or doing instant locks to actually plan out your sections first and then instantly lock it up second. So you've seen how she just turned that into instant locks, uh, just taking the loose hair and turning it into locks. That's probably the best way I've heard it explained is she's taking the crochet hook to mesh the hair together. Cause essentially all you're taking is the hair that's loose and putting it together using a crochet hook. So essentially, especially with this hair type, it's like a 4C, so it's curly. So imagine my fingers are curls and essentially you're just butting them with the other curls and putting them together. That's all you're doing with the instant locking tool. And I like how she uses the triple head crochet hook just because you're probably gonna get three times the amount done. And that's just my, that's my thought. I'm not sure if that's actually the case. She says she likes to use the, the triple head versus the double or the uh, single she uses the double and the single for doing lock repairs. So if the lock is breaking, she'll use a single and a double to kind of put them together. She'll also use the triple if she's doing dreadlock extensions. You really use whatever is comfortable for you. I prefer using a single. That's because I've never used a double or a triple. Um, I would like to do videos on that and actually see which one I like best. And this is why I like instant locks, man. Cause look at the results. Of course it's standing up just a little bit, but this is the result you're gonna get. And of course there's ways to actually lay it down and I'll explain later on in the video if she doesn't do it herself. And I think she does, she's gonna do something to actually lay it down and it's gonna be perfect. Um, and she already did it. But right here, you're able to see that the hair is laying down and she does an amazing job, guys. It, those sections are perfect. And these are instant locks, you, you, you can't even really tell. Um, at first, like for instance, if we go back to how it was right here, like yeah, this looks like evidence of instant locks. They're very straight, they're standing up, and people will be able to tell, okay, those are instant locks. But look how one step away can make them look more mature and a little bit better based on the sections. And this is done by either doing twisting with gel, or you can do it with uh, uh, interlocking. Both of them will get you the, those results. And eh, she did twisting with gel. It almost looked like interlocking because of how well it's laying down, but Twisting with gel will get the job done done, uh, done as well. And they're not extensions. A lot of people think that instant locks are extensions and, and that's not the case. You can instant lock with your natural hair and I would recommend having about four to six inches of hair when doing instant locking or anything longer really. But I think four to six inches is the ideal length for doing instant locks. But look at this after guys, that's an amazing job. You wouldn't even be able to tell that these are instant locks, especially with the hair type being about a 4B got about 120 locks right there. They're falling very well. A lot of people think that when you have instant locks, they just stand very straight and they're very hard. That's just one of those things that if you don't take the extra steps to making the instant locks look better, it's going to be like that. But she did an excellent job. I think she does, does a great job on hair and that's just amazing, guys. What do you guys think about that? And for anybody out there who wants instant locks, I highly recommend getting a crochet hook. It's the best tool for instantly locking up the hair. You could try doing a double crochet hook or even a triple crochet hook, but I would recommend getting a single first so that you can understand how it actually works. And then if you understand how it works, then use a double or a triple 
if you think that it'll benefit you. But if you personally like the way your dreadlocks look, then you can go ahead and share them to the Great Locks Reddit community right here. It's linked down below. It is a community where you can share your photos. And I would highly recommend if you have multiple photos of your entire journey with your dreadlocks, please upload them. And I'm going to be looking at them on future videos. And I also rate everyone's dreadlocks on Discord as well. If you want to go and join the Discord, the link is down below as well. And the video that you're watching right now was actually a clip from my multiple hour stream on Twitch. So if you wanna follow me on Twitch and stay tuned for the next Twitch streams where you can ask me questions live and just watch everything that's going behind the scenes, then join the Twitch, which is down below as well. Do you need products for your dreadlocks? Greatlocks.com has everything you need. Click the link down below to go to greatlocks.com in order to get the products that you need in order to make your dreadlocks look great.